Hello, Mark, W8BBQ here. I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on an ICOM IC7610 transceiver. I will be using a thumb drive, but you can use an SD card as well. First thing you have to do is to format the thumb drive using the IC7610. Insert a thumb drive into the USB port on the front of the IC7610. Open the USB flash drive screen by pressing Menu, Set, USB flash drive. Touch Format. Touch Yes to start formatting. The IC7610 will format the thumb drive. All of the information I'm going to show you is in the IC7610 Basic and Advanced Manuals. When done, unmount the thumb drive by pressing Menu, Set, USB Flash Drive. Touch Unmount, then answer Yes. At this point, you can remove the thumb drive. Again, all of the information I'm showing you is in the IC7610 manuals. Using the internet and your personal computer, go to the ICOM website to get the latest firmware for the IC7610. Click on Support, then Firmware Updates Software Downloads. Look at the list and select the latest firmware for the IC7610. In this case, it is firmware version 1.11. When you hit the button Agree, a zip file named 7610-111.zip will be downloaded to your PC. Once saved to your PC, click on the zip file and you will see a file named 7610-111.dat. Copy that file to a temporary folder on your PC. Insert your thumb drive that was formatted on the IC7610 and open it on the screen. You will see a directory named IC7610. Open that directory and you will see subfolders. Copy the 7610-111.dat file from your PC to the thumb drive in the IC7610 directory. Okay, I'm back at the radio. Insert the thumb drive into the USB port. First thing I want to do is save all of my radio settings, just in case. Backups are always recommended. Press Menu, Set, USB Drive, Save Settings. Then, New Files and File Name. I'm using the default name, so I'll hit Enter. The screen asks if I want to save the file, and I press yes. Now my radio settings are backed up on the thumb drive. On to the firmware update. You'll get a couple of warning screens. Read the information, and you can use the scroll down to see the rest of the warning. Press yes. You will get another warning screen saying it will take approximately two minutes to do the update and to never turn off the radio while this is being done. Press the Yes button for at least one second. The radio will then access the file and do the update. Just sit back and watch the screen. When done, the radio will automatically restart. When it restarts, look at the lower right part of the screen. The version number 1.11 will be displayed. Press Menu, Set, USB Flash Drive, and then Unmount. You can now remove the USB thumb drive.
You're all done. 73. DX Engineering, your source for quality amateur radio products. Visit us on the web at www.dxengineering.com.